हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अमृतपाल सिंह वेलकम टू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ एच पी शेल कमांड्स वीडियो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी जस्ट फोकसिंग ऑन थ्री थिंग्स हाउ वी कैन इंसर्ट डेटा हाउ वी कैन सी द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द डेटा व्हिच इज स्टोर्ड इन अ टेबल एंड हाउ वी कैन रीड अ डेटा आफ्टरवर्ड्स ओके फ्रॉम पर्टिकुलर कॉलम और वी कैन रीड अ डेटा फ्रॉम मल्टीपल कॉलम्स और राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइज आई एल बी क्रिएटिंग वन टेबल एंड ऑन दैट टेबल आई एल बी इंसर्टिंग अ डेटा फर्स्ट देन आई एल बी डिस्प्लेइंग द डेटा द कंटेंट ऑफ दैट टेबल afterwards i'll be reading a data from a particular column so let's begin guys you can see the h base shell already been opened so i'm keeping it as my uh, table name as f and my column family as f1 all right now the very first thing that we have like how to insert a data like in a normal sql we always insert with insert command but here we are having a put command available put and this put command uh, we all already have studied under the hdfs commands as well for uh, sending a data from the local file system to the hdfs so we have a put command available here as well so put then the table name f then you have to specify unique identifier which is row key afterwards you can have to specify the contents of that column family my first uh, thing will be name my first column under that column family will be name okay uh so i have to enclose in a quotes and its value afterwards it will be value so i'm giving my name here we are done so guys what we have done under the column family f1 my first column is name and under that name the value will be amrit similarly second one i'm giving it as maybe city so city maybe i'm giving it as xyz all right done and third one is i'm giving it as some id okay and it is maybe 10 so we are done guys so this is the uh, syntax of put command put space table name space row id or row key space the column family then we have to specify the column inside it then its value all right so we have successfully inserted the record so how we can print the result guys so in the, the normal sql we have select star from table name here we are having scan command available scan f so let's see you can see guys i got answer of row key along with i got a result of my column family its time stamp and its value all right i hope it's fine so i'm clearing the screen now third thing is guys how we can read a data from particular column okay we have a get command available so let's try the get command first of all i'll be reading a data from a table for a row key correspond to the row key so it is very simple get then we have to specify the table name which is f then we have to specify the row key you can see i get a answer correspond to the one all the things three things has been shown city id and name so this was the first uh, variation in which i was reading from a table f for a row key one now guys i'll be reading data for a, for a particular column from the h base table for this with the same command you can also include column keyword column then you have to assign this and specify the column family f1 and name all right we are done so correspond to the name i got my single entry which is amrit name it is a column name and i got a value amrit here okay last point is before we end up this video how we can read data for multiple columns in h base table for this just have to put everything under the square bracket here f1 name then comma then f1 id comma enclosed by this square bracket we are done you can see now i'm getting a data of multiple columns now all right so i hope guys in this short little video you must have understood the working of put scan and get all right so see you next video guys thank you